This is The Christmas Story by St Stephen Sunday School 2020. We hope you will enjoy it. The first Christmas 2,000 years ago was the beginning of a wondrous time, a precious time for all, the birth of a baby who was to be the saviour of the world, the birth of Jesus Christ our saviour. This year we may not be able to celebrate Christmas in quite the same way as we would like to, but the events of this year have changed how we live our lives for quite a while. 2020 has brought difficult times for many people, but during these tricky times, there has been a guiding light for us all, just like the first Christmas night. Two thousand years ago, a problem arose in Jerusalem, around the time that Mary was about to give birth. Emperor Augustus Caesar ordered a survey of all the people in his land. He commanded that every man had to travel to where he was born, taking his family with him to have their name put on a register. Joseph had been born in Bethlehem in Judea, which was quite a distance from the village of Nazareth. Mary was heavily pregnant and travelling would be very difficult for her. Mary and Joseph did not have a choice. They packed what they would need for the trip and set off. Mary rode on a donkey. It was a bumpy and tiring journey for a lady who was due to have a baby very soon. By the time Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem, they were exhausted hungry and dusty. Joseph began trying to find a room in which they could stay. Joseph trudged from one inn to the next, but there were no rooms at the inn. The city was bustling with travellers who had come to register for the emperor's survey. As they were turned away from one inn after another, Mary was tired. The baby was going to be born soon. Hurriedly, Joseph knocked on the door of the nearest inn. After a few moments, the busy ink keeper appeared outside. The innkeeper told them his inn was full, but Joseph begged for help. He told the innkeeper that his wife was about to have a baby. Joseph asked if the innkeeper had a hair corner they could squeeze in. The innkeeper saw that Mary needed a place to rest and offered Joseph shelter in his stable. If they didn't mind being offered with his animals, <coughs> Joseph thanked the innkeeper and he showed Mary and Joseph to the stable. It was there in the stable, surrounded by donkeys, 
oxen and sheep that Mary gave birth to the baby boy who was to be the saviour of the world. She wrapped him up in cloths and nestled him in a manger full of straw and baby Jesus was safe with his mother and father by his side. On the night that Jesus was born, the city of Bethlehem was full with people, while the surrounding countryside was peaceful, except for a few shepherds and their flocks. The shepherds were keeping watch over their sheep. All at once, the starry night sky above the shepherds blazed as bright as day. Then it blazed brighter still, almost too bright for the shepherds to look up. An angel appeared high overhead, and the shepherds were scared. The, the angel told the shepherds that there was a wonderful, what was wonderful news. A baby was born, being born in Bethlehem. A baby who would bring happiness to the world. She told the shepherds, you would find baby Jesus in a stable, lying in the manger. Then, then the sky was filled with angels, praising God. The shepherds and their sheep watched in amazement. The air was filled with singing more beautiful than they have ever heard, as hundreds of angels sang glory to God in the highest and peace and to all the people in the earth. The angels then vanished as and the night was dark again. the next morning the shepherds set out for Bethlehem with their sheep to search for the baby Jesus themselves. In Bethlehem they saw a bright star shining down on the stable. The shepherds stood near the stable and wondered if, wondered if it could be the place. The sheep gathered round them. While the sheep grazed outside the shepherds went into the stable. There lying in a manger was Jesus with Mary and Joseph nearby. The shepherds stayed there for a while, marvelling at the baby boy, who they had told was the Messiah. When the shepherds returned back to their fields, they told everyone they met the wonderful thing that had happened to them.
lands to the east. There lived some wise men who were astrologers. Every night they gazed up at the sky and studied the stars, trying to work out what their movements around the heavens meant for the people on earth. One night they were stunned by a bright new star that appeared much bigger and brighter than the rest. They hurried back to look in their ancient books to see what it could mean. The wise men were excited by what they found. The star was truly a sign that the baby had been born who became the saviour of the world. The wise men decided to set off to find him at once. They packed up their saddlebags and prepared their camels for the journey ahead. They set off into the desert heading in the direction of the star that had blazed each night in the sky. News soon reached from the King Herod that strangers from the east had arrived in Jerusalem. The strangers were searching for the newborn baby. They were calling the kings of Jews, of course. Herod did not like the sound of that at all. As far as he was concerned, he had been crowned the king of Jews he won and he wanted to stay that way. When the wise men reached the stable, they took out from their saddlebags the gift they had bought for him. They bowed to worship the baby. One gave him gold, one gave him frankincense and one gave him myrrh. Mary took Jesus into her arms and asked the three kings what sign had led them to see her son. The three kings told her that in their countries to the east of Bethlehem they had seen a bright new star in the sky. They had fo followed it across deserts and through towns and villages until it came to a rest over stable. When they had told their tale, the wise men said goodbye to the baby Jesus and mounted their swift riding camels once more. Herod never got to hear of the wise men's success. The night before they were due to set off home, they had a troubling dream that warned them not to return the king. The three kings took a different route back to their land in the east and Herod never found them. All over the world, people tell the story of the bright star which guided the shepherds and the three kings to the stable in Bethlehem, where baby Jesus, the saviour of our world, was born. As we near this Christmas time, it is important that we take time to think of what 2020 has been to us. These last few months have given us time to reflect on our lives, to appreciate those who are dearest to us and to value being together with the those we, those we love. We have had an opportunity to reflect on how we live our lives, a good thing to do maybe. We have seen life differently and had to change what we do. But out of these tricky times have come some wonderful things, the opportunity to care for others and to support our community and those living in it. These are our reflections on lockdown and what it meant to us. People and neighbours coming together. Countries around the world working together. New friendships, learning new skills. Less traffic equals less climate damage. Closer to nature, more time with our families and pets. More walking and cycling. As on the first Christmas time, we are guided by a shining light, a beacon of hope in troubled times. The birth of Jesus in a stable in Bethlehem gave us the most wonderful gift. Jesus' birth gave us hope. 
It unites us together as a church family here where we live and all over the world. Jesus brings us joy even when times are tricky and he unites us in the blessing of knowing that the saviour of the world will always be there protecting us and caring for us and shining in our lives each day. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas from all of us at Sunday School.